Hey and welcome to another tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this McDonald's logo inside Microsoft PowerPoint. And it will be as easy as it could be because, you know, the logo is just made from two arcs. But we cannot use the arc tool which we have in Microsoft PowerPoint or Word. Just because the line width is changing. It's a little bit bolder on the bottom and lighter on the top. So you know, just in case you are wondering which is which. The left one is an image, the right one is created inside Microsoft PowerPoint. So let's get started. I will open my presentation, another presentation where I have this uh, uh, you know, image pasted in and I will select insert shapes ellipse or oval sorry it's a called oval not ellipse but uh, ne never mind what it does it's it draws the blue oval now the blue oval is fine but once you draw it you cannot see anything which kind of makes things you know a little bit harder to do or create so what you can do is you can change your fill color to anything else like this while one and outline as well and you can change the fill color to be a little bit transparent like maybe like this then what we can do is you can right click and select set as default shape which is kind of you know not very good name for this function what it does is the next time you draw a shape it will has those parameters so if i select insert shapes oval for the next time as you can see immediately it's violet and semi-transparent so i don't have to change anything so what i will do is i will resize this shape make it of course much bigger so the half of the shape is matching the bottom line then i will make it a little bit wider like this and position it properly using my arrow keys i will copy paste, paste sorry copy paste this shape and i will move it to the same spot as the first shape then i will resize the sides but the holding the control key on my keyboard just so it's resizing from both sides and i will do the same on top i will again click the control key just so it's resizing from top and bottom at the same time and just match the outline if i scroll down you can see it was indeed being resized from the bottom as well i will you know, select both shapes copy paste them move them to the right side make sure that they are aligned from the top and of course aligned in the middle like this then i will draw two rectangles so select insert shapes rectangle one rectangle will be you know below the shape matching the you know bottom line and another rectangle will be in the middle matching the you know in between those shapes i will select the big uh, oval and the smaller one and select merge shapes uh, subtract and i will do the same for the right two shapes so select merge shapes subtract i will combine those to merge the shapes together using merge shapes union so i have one shape which is those two two arcs then I will subtract those rectangles. So I will subtract this rectangle first and the second rectangle in the next step. So merge shapes, subtract. I will zoom out just to make sure that there is nothing else laying on the bottom, you know, just to, like, like some of the leftover. I will move it to the right, you know, this one to the left, and I will set the fill to be the same. So shape fill, eyedropper, and I will sample the red color, sorry, the yellow color from the logo. I will set the outline to no outline and voila we have a mcdonald's logo and done in like three minutes or so so as you can see easy as as, as easy as possible what i can do is i can maybe try to quickly make this in the free so i'll right click and select format shape and in the shape options i will open the free rotation and select preset being the perspective front i will open the bevel properties and raise it all the way up to i don't know like maybe 30 points or so I may change the lighting or material maybe to be a different one maybe i want very glossy like looking feel maybe i want you know a little bit of drop shadow below this one so i will add a drop shadow you know you can do whatever you want the drop shadow could be for example i don't know maybe like a dark yellow color you know like a brownish color and i will make it less transparent but more blurred and move it more to the bottom you know you get the point you can do whatever you want with this logo so i will not you know make it any more longer that's it that's how you create a mcdonald's logo in powerpoint in no time thanks for watching